I've been working with dealing with back pain for more than 30 years. Now, what I can tell you guys, it's the little things that cause the problems in our spines most of the time. And when I say that, they're not even perceived by most of us. They accumulate over time the same way that a misaligned wheel on a car will wear out the tyre of a car gradually without us even knowing it. Now, this one's for the guys. What's looking a little bit strange when you look at me here? Can you see that I'm sort of leaning to the side? Why would that be? I've got my wallet in my back pocket. This is a really common problem for men. When that wallet's in the back pocket, look what happens here. That actually elevates one side of our pelvis more than the other. Now, if you're sitting, whether it be on public transport or driving or at an office six to eight hours a day, you can imagine how lifting one side of the pelvis and not the other can shorten muscles one side and leave these ones stretched and the joints overloaded. So we've got a model of the spine now. We can see that a spine should be level. I used the example of the wheels of a car before, so let's stay on that one. The spine here, the bottom of the spine has the ilium, they're the two sides of the pelvis. Now they've got to be level. We walk, we sit, if we have a difference in weight and load going one side to the other, well obviously certain joints of the spine will work more than others and certain muscles will contract while others are stretched. Now it's really easy to understand that when the wallet's here and we're sitting on it, it's not actually down there, it's on our glute, but that will elevate it, okay, one side. And we usually do this and don't feel it. We go our whole lives sometimes working, suffering problems without actually stopping and going, oh, hang on, by joining the dots, ah, oh, the pain's on the right side. Oh, my wallet's also on the right side. And also, look at the size of the wallet, guys. You know, that's one to one and a half centimetres. So this problem was first recognised in the 1970s when, I guess, the introduction of credit cards increased the size and thickness of guys' wallets. They actually called it credit carditis. And typically credit carditis caused that glute pain, it caused tightness around the piriformis muscle and the resultant sciatic pain in a lot of men who would sit down all day with those wallets under them. Now the solution's easy, obviously, remove the wallet. Put it in the front pocket, put it on the desk, put it wherever you've got to when you're working, but do whatever you've got to do to leave the ilium, or both ilium, the pelvis level. Now what about for those of you who've had this problem for a long time and you've already jammed your sacroiliac joint or caused chronic tension in your buttocks, your gluteal muscles? You're going to need to do other things. So I suggest other things, for example, like balls to work on the trigger points in your glutes. You can work with masseuses to do deep soft tissue work. You'll need to find a chiropractor to adjust the sacroiliac joint if it's been jammed, okay, if it's been compromised. And walking also is one of the best things you can do. So a lot of people report, hey, sitting down hurts, but it is relieved when I walk. So do that, listen to your body and walk. Once again, the solution's easy. Listen to your body, remove the wallet, and I'm sure that you will be happy with the effects.